Let's bring in our baseball insider, Steve Phillips. Steve, a lot to unpack from that Ross Atkins news conference. Back on Wednesday, John Schneider sure made it sound like an organizational decision to lift Jose Barrios. But on Saturday, Atkins saying he was surprised by the move and that it was Schneider's decision to make. Do you think Atkins threw his manager under the bus here? Yeah, there seems to be a difference of opinion on all of this, doesn't there? I mean, John Schneider, I get what he's saying that it's an organizational decision where he's gathering information from different departments. He's getting put input from other people, including his coaches and some people in the analytics department. So it generally it's an organizational decision, but it's him making the decision. Ross Atkins, listen, he made it really clear. This is all on John Schneider. They don't micromanage. They don't pre-plan the decisions for the manager in the front office. That was really clear. So we put it all on John Schneider. Now, I think there's a different way he could have handled it, saying that every decision is an organizational decision, that we get input from everybody. And certainly, ultimately, individuals have to make those decisions, but other people have input into it. But clearly, he put this all on John Schneider, that it was him making the decision. He completely took the front office out of the micromanaging business. And just to make the day all the more bizarre, Atkins also saying that Schneider will return as manager next season. Do you agree with that decision, Steve? Yeah, yeah, boy, interesting, right? So, look, I don't think you can base a hiring or a firing on any one decision that a manager makes. It's the big picture, even when it's a critical playoff game like this. Now, that being said, I would have liked, liked Ross Atkins' opinion on the decision. Did he support it? Did he not? He said he was surprised by it. Uh, and he also understood the logic that went into it. He also interestingly said that the players knew the chance of a decision like this happening where he was surprised by it. So some part of there conflicted a little bit with it, because I would think if the players knew, he would probably know that there was a chance this decision could happen as well. I don't think I would fire him over this individual decision, but I think collectively you have to look at the season. Did the players respond to it? Were they held accountable for their mistakes? And I think there's a reasonable, a reasonable person could look at it and say, I'd have to consider potentially making a change. I completely respect the decision to bring him back. That being said, this rather significant wrong decision from John Schneider must not have been a fireable offense. So we got some answers on Saturday. I'm not sure, you know, Blue Jays fans loved the answers, but we did get answers. Now we got Blue Jays president Mark Shapiro speaking on Thursday. Steve, what do you expect to hear from him when he speaks? Well, I suspect we're going to hear a lot of support for Ross Atkins and for John Schneider. And I think that he'll have to be, answer the questions as well about the decision for Jose Barrios being taken out of the game. Did he support it? Was he surprised by it? I'd like to know the opinion of the people in charge on that. Clearly, when you're surprised by it, it probably means you don't agree with it. Just say it. Let us know what it is. But in the long run, I think he's going to say a lot of positive things about the year that they're disappointed in the outcome and the result. You can kind of write the script for a president of the organization in this way. That being said, I think it's clear that they're going to have to make some changes, whether that's in uniform coaching personnel or with significant player changes to take the next step for the playoffs for next year. Well, the end of October marks the eight-year anniversary of Shapiro taking over the Jays. Zero division titles since, and they haven't won a playoff game since 2016. Thanks for this, Steve.